Good morning, Interborough. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please stay tuned for this morning's version of Kaleidoscope. You're watching IHS TV. This is Kaleidoscope News This Morning. Good morning, Interboro High School. This is Chaz Durgan with the announcements for Wednesday, April 29th, 2015. The library will be closed today for the ASVAP test. Congratulations to Janine Byrne for placing third in the restaurant school at Walnut Hill College's scholarship comp competition with her winning tuxedo chocolate cake. Student Council meeting today at 8.55 in the auditorium. Today is also an early day. Periods 1 to 7, 8 will be held. Lunches will be at normal time. Reminder, Keystone exam tutoring sessions are running after school and on some weekends. Tutoring hours can earn you Wawa or Rita's gift cards. Sign up on the IHS website if possible, but walk-ins are also welcome. Attention freshmen, give your Dorney Park permission slips to Ms. Ruiz in room 229 after school. Permission slips are due by Friday, May 1st. Support the 2015 after prom by going to Chick-fil-A tonight from 5 to 8 p.m. Let Chick-fil-A know you are supporting the IHS 2015 after prom. Interboro High School cheerleading will be hosting an Applebee's pancake breakfast at the Applebee's in Folsom on Sunday, May 3rd from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Tickets are $7 a person. See any cheerleader for tickets. The American Red Cross Blood Drive is Thursday, April 30th. Sign-ups close today at 3. Sixteen-year-olds, please bring your permission slip today to be scheduled to give blood. First period donors receive passes today in homeroom. All others receive their passes in homeroom Thursday. Donors should eat a big breakfast and lunch, drink lots of water, and use the bathroom before donating. Attention Interboro Artist Alumni, show us your work. This year's art show will feature an alumni gallery. Any alumni who is enrolled in an art program or working as an artist is invited to submit a piece for display. Please drop off work to the main office by May 11th. All work will be carefully handled and returned after the show. The art show is May 13th on the first floor of the high school. Come out and see the best artists in Delaware County. Delcade will be held this Thursday at 6 p.m. in the auditorium. Come out to see some local music acts. $4 for admission, all proceeds go to Awaken Kibera. And now over to the weather. Good morning, this is Chris with the weather. Today will be mostly sunny with a high of 74 and a low of 52. Tomorrow will be partly cloudy with a high of 68 and a low of 48. Now over to the birthdays. This is Matt with the birthdays. The birthday for today is Brianna Messina. Happy birthday, now over to the sports. This is Nate and Jay with the sports for today. Today, baseball is four o'clock away at Malvern Prep. Dismissal is at two and the bus leaves at 2.15. Thursday, girls lacrosse is away at Phoenixville at 3.45, dismissal 1.45, bus departure at two. Baseball is 3.30 at home, at home at Hillcrest against Chester. That will be Anthony DiNicola bobblehead night. Boys track is at 3.30, Delco's out at the South Ave Sports Complex. Friday, softball 345 home against Strathaven, senior recognition. Girls lacrosse 345 away at Penwood, dismissal 215, bus departure at 230.
baseball plays away at, Ch at Chester, 345, dismissal 215, bus departure 230, and boys lacrosse plays JV, 345, varsity, 515, at South Ave against Upper Darby. In other sports news, the Capitals took Game 7 from the New York Islanders on Monday night after Andre Kuznetsov's late go-ahead goal in the third period lifted the Caps to a 2-1 victory. Braden Holt faced just 11 shots in the Game 7 win. The Phillies took down the Cardinals last night at Bush Stadium in, at Bush Stadium in, C in St. Louis 4-1. Cole Hamels pitched seven terrific innings, striking out nine and only, and only allowing one run. UFC world champion John Jones turned himself in yesterday as he will most likely be indicted as he ran a red light and hit a parked car with a pregnant woman inside and then proceeded to flee the scene. His charges could carry up to three years in federal prison. To keep up to date on game schedules, check out the athletics page on the Innovator School District website or follow us on Twitter and Instagram at GoBuckSports. And once again from all of us here at Kalias, we'd like to thank you for watching and have a great day.